It's Wrexham versus Bradford today in the Carabao Cup second round. Wrexham obviously coming off that good win on penalties against Wigan Athletic, but this is the first ever game in my lifetime that I'll have watched Wrexham play in the Carabao Cup. I'm looking forward to it. It's a sellout at the racecourse ground. Bradford in the league haven't been on too good of a form, neither have Wrexham, but it's going to be an interesting one. Mark Hughes at the racecourse grounds tonight. Andy Cook, who we had years of being linked to, he will most likely start up front for the Bantams, and it's going to be a good one. A sold out away end as well. If you're looking for all the best Wrexham AFC content on YouTube, this is the place to be. Get down there, click the red subscribe button, we're on the road to 20,000 subscribers, and I'll see you at the racecourse ground for our Carabao Cup game against Bradford. <laughs>
We're back home from the racecourse ground. Wrexham have lost on penalties to Bradford City. The Bantams progress through to the third round of the Carabao Cup. In all honesty, it was a poor performance. I think even Bradford fans can agree that their team didn't even play that well. It was a very low quality game up until the, probably about the 70th minute started opening up more chances. But yeah, penalties, it's a cruel way to lose. It would have been good to go through to the next round, but it's the last games to play. We can concentrate more on the league. I know it's they're probably saying, oh, you wouldn't have said that if you'd have won. But yeah, um, not really too much to say. The referee, I think the less said about the better. Trying to be the centre of attention. Some absolutely horrible decisions, including the penalty. I mean, if you've given that as a penalty, then I think you need your head testing. But um, yeah, disappointing, but... We move on to Tramway on Saturday, which is going to be an incredible match. Until then, take care, guys.